Hello, welcome to Brightwood. I'm Liz, and today I am working on a little farm for Stu and Tipper, the island's cow power couple. I started by placing down some items and custom designs. The clover patch is one of the default designs that is already in the game when you start, and I made the purple flowers. Any other custom designs you see today will be listed in the description with their creator codes. I put a teeny little flower bed down using the dark dirt default path and surrounded the flowers with a clear custom design to make sure I only get flowers where I want them. I then added some stepping stones before making a little washing area for Tipper, making sure to add puddles so it looked like the washing is wet. Cute, right? It's little details like these that make an island come to life. I then got started on the crops, with the sugarcane coming first. I put it by the river, because all good Minecrafters know that your sugarcane grows by the river. I then planted the wheat, making sure to pick them and plant the whole harvest so that I had a larger wheat field, and planted my potatoes in front of it. Tomatoes came next, and finally the carrots. I made sure to leave space for a path between them and the potatoes. I did some more decorating, making sure to utilise custom designs on the ground wherever it seemed right. I really like my little snail here. I put a butter churn outside Tipper's house, and as long as you don't think too hard about the implications, it's a really cute little detail for the farm. I planted a tree, and then decided where I wanted some fencing to go, and, say it with me now, put some custom designs down first. Now comes my favourite part of the build, a little picnic for a little bear friend named Shipley, after one of my friends on Twitch. I fussed around with it for quite a while, but it finally comes together towards the end. I finished off the fencing for the crop areas and put together the pumpkin patch. Another one of my friends on Twitch suggested making some of the pumpkins grow in the wrong spot, like they sometimes do in Minecraft. I think it came out really cute. Tipper then came over and sat down by the river and I couldn't resist the photo opportunity. I then struggled to make it look like Shipley here was fishing but I think it worked out nicely in the end. Now comes the real struggle, the path. This custom design is linked below with the others. Now, watch as I try really hard to make it look like I know what I'm doing.
There we go. Finishing up the farm now with some last minute details and custom designs, including clear ones so that fossils and gyroids won't spawn here. I'll do a special area for them later. And I plopped some weeds here and there. It is a farm after all. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!